The full episode is now available on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Please see the link in the description for more details. Um, okay, yes, ready to start. So, uh, guys, the way we're going to do this is Preston's going to count down 3, 2, 1, and we're all going to click play. And the moment we click play, you should hear the uh, HBO... So, uh, Preston, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, go ahead, count down. All right, 3, 2, 1. HBO. No entertainment. Hmm. Hmm. Just remember, you would always go, HBO mm-hmm. Entertainment. Yeah. <clears throat> this narration. Every, a lot of people are like, so when I said, like, I think it was a mistake to open with narration and, and writing and this prologue, like, a lot of people then started mentioning all of these other movies that open with reading. Lord of the Rings. Yes, yeah, Star Lord of the Wars. Rings. And it's like, it's like, those things are good despite you know, that, like, like, you know, like, it's not good. They're not good because of it. They're good despite those things. Like, uh, you know, I don't, I mean, uh, did Lord of the Rings need that prologue about yes. the rings? I yes. guess it was short though. It was fine. It was short. Um, cause you know, very quickly just tells you like, Oh, there, th- there are these rings. Fine. Um, I think Blade Runner is, stuff at the beginning was not needed blade runner has a lot like everybody loves blade runner but there's so many things that are bad about blade runner you know press like voice controversy at a time please jesus i know (laughs) oh i was thinking about doing like a differences like easter egg video but it would just take way too long i just don't have the time did you see the video i sent you i I took it on my snap and put it on snap but did you see the video i sent you how i was on that fucking easter egg video for hours did you see that Oh, no, no. I, I sent it to you on Facebook. You didn't see it? No, I guess. Oh, Wait, is, is, is this episode Easter eggs? Yeah, I, I did an Easter eggs for this episode. Oh. And I, I caught a couple of things, like both stories and with the death of an Aaron, um, you know, like the, the banners yeah. and stuff. But you caught some that I didn't even catch, the uh, Randall Tarley one. Mm-hmm, yeah. Good, good casting on the old king, too. Of course, he was—he was not at Heron Hall, but um, he's was only at Heron in his, Hall? No, no, he didn't go. What? He's also only—he's actually only in his sixties. You made mm. a very good point, though. We 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 went through Fire and Blood. Where was Lainor? Wasn't it like the claim? Wasn't it like between Lainor and Viserys? It was in Fire and Blood. It is like originally in in the Princess and the Queen. It was clearly a Rhaenys like um, Viserys thing, but then they they make it about Lainor, and the but. You know how much is the how much is the biased sources and stuff like that. It's really tough to tell what happened at the at the at the um, Council of One Hundred and One. It's very very confusing, but it's it's very clearly supposed to be rigged. Whatever the case, it's very clearly supposed to be rigged because all democratic elections in Ice and Fire are rigged. <laughs> Whether it comes to the the <laughs> the King's Moot or Jon Snow's election, like they're all rigged. And plus it's at Heron Hall, which in, you know, where, where we talk about whether or not the, the lists were rigged for Rhaegar and things like mm-hmm. that, because there's a conspiracy to put Rhaegar on the throne. Like there was clearly a conspiracy at 101. That's definitely what we're supposed to think. Um like By the series was not not the winner. Someone countered you on this. Like in your review, you go, "Yes, she should be freezing up there and, and asphyxiation and without the." And someone said, "Well, Preston, you don't know. Valyrians could be closer to gods than men. They could mean that literally. They could have a uh, higher lung capacity." And uh, a... oh, I thought I thought you were gonna get out me because um, some people have started talking to me about like cloud height and what cl- <laughs> which cloud heights like I love, I the, love these types of clouds were. You know, like oh, these are these are like. These are low level cumulus clouds rather than like mid level level like you know stratus clouds and it's like okay <laughs> the CGI like it, it makes it look like she's way freaking high you know? but, <laughs> so I don't know whatever whatever I'll, yeah, I'll let it go I, fine I love she's people, fine dude I love I love people I during throne season everybody gets stupid and crazy I love it I know, I know. It's fine. Fine. It's she can fine. Breathe. It's she, you know. It's whatever. fine. She she can breathe. It's it, it's it's not that cold. She she's not freezing. It's just probably Look, chilly. She's, she's got fine. long sleeves. That automatically means it's okay. Yeah. yeah. 
Dun, dun, dun. See, it's so funny because I thought you said that you didn't think anyone in the cast was was like, um, uh, like super hot. But I thought like you know, wait, no, I thought the Ramirez. Me? That was you. You said this. No, I didn't. You <laughs> yes, you did. You called Matt Smith weird looking. No, I called Matt Smith weird looking. But I I figured that the you know the the, the actress that plays that plays Rhaenyra is like completely your type whenever we talk about whenever we we objectify women in in um wait a minute in shows oh, like you don't you always go him. nuts for the you go nuts for the blondes have you seen the actress for adult rainera like at the premieres she she dressed like like an angry young boy like have you seen... well well she's 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 non-binary <laughs> but she's non-binary, i guess so. but you can still be non-binary and have a good fashion sense she does not um, and no, I think <laughs> I think everyone is fairly good looking. Uh, however, I don't know. I know the actresses who play young Rainier and Allison. I know they're older, like in their twenties. But yeah, yeah, because... they're actually only eight, yeah eight years apart in age. They're not even very, they're not even that different in age. Right. So yeah. let me see young Allison's actress real quick because I'm going to make a point about this young, sent actress. I'm glad there's a moment here where it's just, uh, it's just. Uh, reintroducing us to the uh the red keeps yeah. yeah this this was a lot of like um downtime which was fine i like it it reintroduces us to you know like familiar sites and all that they're both over the age of 18 but they they look like they're in their mid teens these girls look yeah, like yeah. they're like but these girls look young yeah. yeah yeah and and that's what they do and also they they act really well too cuz mm-hmm. they both they both um put on kind of a youthful awe and, and nervousness and like, you know, they, they do the besties role really well. I mean, no. Coming in. So somebody, so by the way, on this smelling like dragon thing, somebody said that they owned like a large snake and they said that like snakes do really smell really bad. Mm. Like that the snake oil like really does smell bad. So I guess like dragons really st- smell bad or something you know i guess if if snakes smell bad i never thought about lizards like stinking right because i've never you know i one. thought like I've, i haven't either because we, we you know we kind of think like what makes us stink is our hair and sweat getting caught in the hair but i don't i think different things make lizards smell bad but um The, you know, so going through a second time, like in taking taking screen caps, I realized that like it was really tough to sometimes grab the right, the right screen cap because uh, the direction they they choose a lot of really interesting weird angles all the time for shots. These ones that we're looking at right now are, are kind of boring, but like the they're always choosing there, like over the balcony, you know, or down at the table, you know, um, and so a lot of times there's things blocking view and stuff and. Um, because it's just the direction is completely different from Game of Thrones. What's in focus? What's not? What's in what's in frame? Somebody else was was telling me about how like I made this big deal about the egg because I I always think it's like <laughs> yeah, I think it's really hook. stupid. Like why not? Well, it's like the it's the Brad Pitt the you know the Brad Pitt like acting crutch of like eating while acting. Like I I fucking hate it. I but. Um, so it's a, like, it annoys it's, it's, me it's a, it's more. It's a technique developed by Brad Pitt. Oh, oh, if you go, if it ruins Brad Pitt movies for you, because you realize that like oh, every shit. time you see Brad Pitt on screen, he's eating. Oh, dude, I like, love, I love. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, Fight Club. Yeah. Don't. Oh no, but it, you, but if once once you sort of notice it, like you're like, oh god, in Moneyball, he's like constantly eating, and in and in Ocean's thirteen, Ocean's eleven, he's constantly eating, and in, and Fight Club, he's constantly eating, and you're like, oh my god, Brad Pitt can't act without eating, um, <laughs> and so like it re- like anytime I see actors like eating while acting, I always just. I always like think, oh God, like what are they doing? And so this scene is like one of those scenes where he's like Viserys is eating while while acting as, to make him look like he he doesn't care, um, uh, and he just takes forever eating that egg. And so I made this big joke about the egg, and then somebody pointed out like they're like actually if you look really carefully, there is a plate where he's got some other food. But and I like went through the scene and I'm like, where is it? Where is it? Because because there's there's glasses and different things obstructing the view constantly because of the direction. But there is like one scene where you're like, oh wait, he does have a sausage. <laughs> like I'm like, oh <laughs> 
People are nitpicking your review now, huh? Oh, right. Like, yeah. Like, I get, like, I, I, I suppose it's justified. I get nitpicky and then, like, they, people come back and, like, they decide to, to be nitpicky to me. So, give me a taste of my own medicine. Oh, I did the same thing. I mixed up the words ancestor and descendant and people have not shut the fuck up about it. Even though I corrected in the pinned comment. <laughs> Bro, it's fucking it. I know. Shut up, Jim. I know. Oh, fuck. But it's time travel, man. Time travel. Everything's a wheel. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Damon's supposed to be kind of a Jamie clone, kind of. And, like, you know, the first time we see Jamie in episode three, he's sitting on the on the Iron Throne. Actually, no, he wasn't. It was uh, someone said that to me. Actually, no, the first time Ned, I think, meets Jamie, Jamie's on the Iron Throne after killing the Mad King. So. Yeah, yeah, but don't. How is this a season yeah. one reference? It's season one reference because after so Jane uh, so you're right in that Ned meets Jamie up in Winterfell, but then he meets him again back in in King's Landing, and Jamie is sitting on the throne. No, he's not. He's sitting on the steps. Ah, uh, close enough. <laughs> Close enough. It's still <laughs> clearly paralleled. No, of course. I mean, I get it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. If you'd noticed in um in their family, they're the only two who are like super into the like the Valyrian thing. Jaher uh, Viserys yeah. is not really into that that much. He does the, his little hobby, but like as far as we know, he doesn't speak Valyrian. Yeah, I, I, I suppose not. Even though it, it would be required of like child's education at court. But, you know, it's a, it's an odd thing, right? Like, um, like, uh, Viserys the third, like our, our boy Viserys, like, um, shouldn't he know High Valyrian and we never see him speak it because, and then where did Daenerys learn it from? The assumption is, is that she learned it from her brother, but we never see them speaking together, mm -hmm. you know, for practicing, but. But yeah, this is something I noticed. Like these two seem to be like super into the whole Valyrian customs where, like, yeah. the whole Valyrian custom, like, in my video I put out, is it's a point of contention for a lot of the Westerosi, because there's a whole war fought over it, the incest, and all that bullshit. Yeah, so there's supposed to be sex, sexual tension there or something, but... But she, but she um, looks so young, it's so weird. Yeah, I know. And then the werewood. You call, I don't uh, know, you, you call this correctly, I think them talking about Nymira is supposed to, like... You know, oh, nice yeah, little Easter egg yeah, for the course. nine year spin off we might be getting. Yeah. That definitely. nobody asked for. <laughs> the shelf that nobody asked for. The werewood. Do you think, like, they're going to have the werewood burned by the end of the series just mm. so that, like, it's consistent with Game of Thrones? You know, I think they're going to not only have the werewood burn, but I think when Cregan comes into the Red Keep, it's going to be like a, like a weird moment with him seeing it burned, like, seeing it already in oh. ashes. So, yeah, we might see it burn. Good call. It does seem weird, though, considering, like, King's Landing was just a fishing village. Like, maybe they found, like, an old werewood that the that the children of the forest had carved. Well, it was the first men that carved a face into it. That, that um, I don't know if the children had faces in their werewoods. But the, um, so, you know, I guess first men fishermen or something had this werewood. You know, maybe you could argue that, that there was some just, you know, small villages because, I mean, north of the wall, I guess they carve, you know, these are small villages north of the wall, and they've carved their werewoods, you know. And so. her ripping it is what causes this all to happen. It's, yes, where the, yes. it's when this the maesters the maester, had enough. The maesters <laughs> conspiracy. I love the maesters it. conspiracy is actually, like, it's pretty brutal, though, that they're, they, they, like, would inflict the entire Dance of the Dragons and all the shit that happens on, the, on them for ruining those books. <laughs> that's, that's pretty... <laughs> Yeah, so you get this grayscale kind of, like, um, feeling, right, when he's dealing with this, like, pussy wound. Uh, but, you know... You I don't know a good if... point. Just put a fucking blanket over it, like... <laughs> oh, my God. Just put a, <laughs> just put a just, or dull it. the swords. Dull the swords? Dull the swords. Shouldn't his, like, royal garb, like, like be a little extra, like, puffed up just so, it, like, it doesn't hit the blades? Come on. Right, right? Like, that sword went through fabric, like, a whole bunch of layers of fabric, and then, like, cut his skin. 
Like, had it because it had gone through all of those other stuff, I'm surprised it wasn't a deeper cut. My man should be wearing like should be be wearing royal armor every time he sits down. Fuck it, just have the armor like right next to the throne so he can put it on just to sit down. 